Coaches, give your athletes the competitive edge through mental skills. Max, an excellent basketball coach I know, who at the time thought he knew a lot about mental coaching, right? He knows every drill ever designed for basketball, is a real student of the game. And he long ago dedicated himself to creating excellence in his players and for his own career. His varsity high school team had always done pretty well since Max took over and, and he had earned the respect of his community and his players. But Max wanted more. He had applied for coaching jobs at that next level and always seemed to get passed over for other coaches. And some of them had win-loss records that weren't as good as his. Now after that last interview where he didn't get the job he wanted, he decided to take a serious look at himself as a coach and so he actually went around interviewing his players and their parents to find out ways that he could improve his coaching. And while everybody was highly complimentary of his style that, that you know, that emphasized hard work, the fundamentals, and stellar conditioning, he also picked up some subtle hints that he was missing something. He hadn't paid that much attention to the mental game of basketball. And as he looked back on the last few seasons, he remembered how certain players just didn't seem to play up to their potential. Now, he had enough experience to see that talent that had just not shown up at game time. And he thought about how he had just brushed off telltale signs and, and negative comments by these players as simply a weakness of the mind. And those players just can't cut it. And he began to wonder how many games he had lost by just a point or two that might have turned into wins had his team been playing like they do in scrimmages and pickup games, free, in the zone. And he also knew all about performance anxiety in sports. But he figured that hard work was the answer and that those didn't buy in would just wash right out of his system. There'd be somebody else to take up their spot. And he began to think about all the talent that he had thrown away or wasted over the years with that attitude. He vowed to turn it all around and start incorporating some mental coaching and mental training into his, into his, um, into his career. Max began studying NBA coaches like Phil Jackson, considered one of the greatest NBA coaches of all time, who was actually nicknamed the Zen Master. Jackson won 11 championships as a coach with two teams and, and was huge into coaching the mental game of basketball. Max found that there isn't a whole lot of drills and conditioning in Jackson's works. He came to me and ordered the Mental Toughness Academy and began his journey into youth sports and the way their mind works, youth athletes. And he learned how to coach mental toughness to his players beyond the obvious and usual advice that you just have to work harder and get mentally tough and learn how to focus. Max actually started incorporating mental exercises in his drills and when players came to him off the court he seemed to know exactly what they needed in order to overcome their fears by giving them bigger perspectives for example. And when he witnessed a player becoming timid on the court he knew that it's because that player had shifted their focus to winning and performance instead of the real reasons why they play the game. He learned ways to teach his players how to come through under pressure and how to deal with the different personality types. Instead of trying to fit everybody into these silos he had pre-made in his head for how players should be. Max began to have answers for every problem his players presented and became uh, known locally as the basketball wizard. Max's team began dominating the region, but more importantly, fell asleep each night, replaying scenes of the parents and players telling how he positively impacted their life beyond basketball. Another coach he started to emulate, Coach John Wooden. We'll learn more about him too. Sign up for the Mental Toughness Academy, learn how these athletes' minds work and become that next level of coach. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer. Let's do this.